Hey, what's going on, everybody? We are at usdebtclock.org. It's not something they're talking about too much now, is it? It's kind of got an erased from our brains or some people's because it is not being plastered in the news at the moment. We have so many other things they're distracting us with. As you can see, it still is mounting. The schedule by the Illuminati and the Freemasons of crashing the dollar and bankrupting the country and then offering it a way out, a new beginning, with a different source of currency and payment is still going per their schedule. Here is the national debt at the moment. As you can see, it goes very quickly upward. Seventeen trillion eight hundred and fifty five billion five hundred and seventy million soon to be five hundred and seventy one million. The debt per citizen fifty five thousand dollars nine hundred and sixty nine. The debt per taxpayer, $152,941. That is staggering, to say the very least. They play for the same team, so... You Obama lovers, please pull your heads out of your anus so that you can actually watch this video and gain some understanding. The excuse given by those that support the dictator-in-chief, the traitor-in-chief, the Satanist in chief is a lame idea that he inherited all this mess. Well, I believe when you look it up, you will find that Mr. Bush. A distant relative of Mr. Obama, I believe he had us somewhere in the hole about nine trillion. And that would be over the course of eight years. As you can see, not too long from now, Mr. Obama will have equaled his predecessor. With two years remaining before he is out of office, hopefully out of office, unless we are in some type of martial law by then, and we can look at other components down here at the bottom. As you can see, these are um, these are liabilities. Look at this right here. United States unfunded liabilities. One hundred and fifteen trillion with a T. Ninety two billion two hundred and fifty three million. 
Oh, we just clicked 254 just like that. Millions go very quick. We'll sit here and watch you see just how fast a million goes up. Oh, we went up again. See how quick that goes. A million, million, million. And that unfunded liability, this whopping figure right here, accounts to be 985,800. And thirteen dollars per taxpayer. Over in this right column, <clears throat> we are currently punching three hundred and nineteen million twenty eight thousand and sixty seven is our population here in the United States. We are looking at a median income. And this is sickening. Of $28,498. That, for median income, is very low, friends. Very low. Here is your actual unemployment. Here's your official unemployment. You can see the actual. Move it over here. The actual is quite different than the official. As far as your median income went, 14 years ago in the year 2000, it was actually almost a couple of hundred dollars per year more. So in close to 14 years, 14 years, this median income has not gone up. You getting what I'm saying? They're robbing us blind. They have made perpetual slaves out of the population. As long as they can steal unabated. As long as the psychopathically, criminally corrupt are in charge of us, they will never stop. Here is your, here's another item of interest. The total interest paid in the United States. Two trillion. Five hundred and twenty four billion three hundred and forty eight thousand or million ninety. Oh, it's coming down, it's going down a little bit. See, interest per citizen seven thousand nine hundred and twelve. My goodness. And as far as your U.S. total debt. Well, your total debt per citizen is $186,374. Personal debt, well over $16 trillion, of which mortgage debt, well over $13 trillion. All the college people, here is your student loan debt, over a trillion. Credit card debt, you can see this number is going up, up, up. It's soon to be a trillion. Slightly at the moment, under 900 million 
personal debt per citizen, 52,210. Here is your United States debt held by foreign countries. Five trillion nine hundred sixty two billion five hundred and seventy three million and then some. This is your Chinese trade deficit. 327 billion with a B and the funding of the Saudi oil empire the deficit in trade for the imported oil 350 billion 699 million 870 some odd thousand of which they're attributing that figure and saying this is OPEC right over here in their cut 128 billion 550 million and a hundred and something thousand <clears throat> so why is it do you think that with a whopping amount like this is your national debt, which that whopping figure there has to be a jeopardy, something that jeopardizes our national security, your financial and economic security is also key to your survivability as a nation. But I don't see very many articles in the newspaper or on the internet or no one talking about it. Perhaps uh, as we get to election time, possibly, when they want to politicize this, maybe they would decide that this was a talking point. Or maybe they've been told to shut up about it. with the formation of the BRICS. I still believe the end of the dollar is coming. I don't think it's that awful far off. Maybe they could push it to 2016 after they put another one of their puppets in. And it doesn't matter if it's Republican, Democrat, Libertarian, Independent, you name it. They own it all. They have complete control. Politically. And they're gaining ground more and more with the brainwashing so that they are making fantastic gains in social control. Politically correct. and so on. But just because you don't hear them speaking about what our national debt is at the time, or how much, or how dangerous we are clinging to the edge of the financial cliff by our fingernails with one hand, I showed you what it is. You're looking at the ticker in real time for yourself so that you can understand. Of course, you might say, yeah, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. I'm getting mine. I'm doing fine. Yeah, you're doing fine as long as that worthless little piece of paper called money still has a meaning and a value. But when it don't, Shit hits a fan, and you can use that piece of paper to wipe your backside. 